questions and we'll dismiss them so they can get ready for practice. Start with Danny. This is because we talked about your production over the first part of the season a little bit. What do you attribute that to? Is it just, uh, um, just tell, tell me how, how you think it gives, it's, this has transpired. Um, I could be better. I mean, it looks good, but I'm still working on getting better every day. I'm getting tougher. Like, that's the main piece I'm working, what I need to work on is getting tougher, boxing out. So, I mean, yeah, my stats are good. I'm, I'm proud of, well, I don't want to say I'm proud of that because I know I can do better. So, I'm okay with it, but I know I can be better. So, I'm going to get better. Go to Dan. Just kind of in that same vein, I mean, Vic was talking about how, you know, it's with Stanford, you're drawing double teams and things like that. What's that been like for you to transition to that where teams are game planning for you now? And what, what's that been like approaching games? Um, it's getting harder, so I have to get smarter with my moves and what I do with the ball, how being patient with it. So, just working on that. Go to Robbie. Just uh, have a couple of post players behind you that haven't played a whole lot of minutes the uh, last couple of years in your mind, promise. Where do you feel like they are coming behind you and, and how close do you feel like they are to really spell on you and giving you some good minutes? Um, we're getting better in practice as long as we continue to work and practice going against each other, like really compete against each other. They'll be ready and we'll be able to rotate more. Go back to Dan. My, was, I think you, guys, you ended up signing at 35 minutes the other night against uh, West Virginia, but you and Aaliyah kind of traded off a little bit this year. How much, how do you feel like you guys are you know, complimenting each other so far and how far along do you feel like she's coming, at least in the early going of the season? Um, I feel like I repeat myself a lot, but she um, she has this confidence, like I said. Um, she's going to make you guard her. And that's a piece that um, I have to work on as well, is having that offensive threat. As like you mentioned earlier, Jess is getting double teamed and it's my man. So I need to get in the gym as I have been, but get in the gym and working on my shot so I can make people guard me. And then it will be easier on Jess as well. So they, they can't help off me because I'm going to be the offensive threat. So um, I'll repeat working on my game. I know Aaliyah will continue working on her, on her game, um, competing every day in practice and things like that. So um, she's going to continue to get better. Um, everybody on the team is going to continue to get better. We're going to go on film. We're going to look at the things that we need to work on. And we're going to uh, apply that in practice. and. Um, the coaches are, they're tough on us as they should be because um, we're not where we should be right now. But I definitely think with their help and us trusting in the coaches and believing that what they're telling us is true and just believing in the system and in each other, then I just feel like they will definitely bounce back. What, what has it been like for you sort of trying to be a little bit more offensive minded and may, maybe get to the hoop a little more, take a few more shots? What's that been like sort of trying to transition to that a little bit more with just drawing the attention that she is inside? Uh, definitely, I think it's just having that confidence and I'm going to make this shot. Um, I'm kind of a pass-first point guard, but being too passive is not just a great thing. Um, just like I said, just making my opponent guard me and um, just having, just being, um, just attacking, just things like that. Um, I've been working on it. And I just think it's a big confidence thing, just knowing, being comfortable with that specific shot and knowing that it's going to go in, taking those shots in practice and working on it in practice. That's the only way I'll get better. So um, just continue to have that mindset in practice, knowing that I need to be more of an offensive threat. And that doesn't mean just jack up shots. No, that's not what I'm saying. But, you know, just making them guard me. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to make our offense flow better. And it's going to free up Jess. And she's not going to be able to help team. And she's going to be able to go right like she usually does. Any other questions for the players?